Hello everyone, today you're going to learn all about how to install a zero lock custom dial on a Leupold VX5 rifle scope. I'm John McAdams, the founder of the Big Game Hunting Blog. I have a Leupold VX5 HD rifle scope that the good folks at Ochico's Outdoor sent me. Now, Leupold will make one free custom dial to your specifications when you purchase a VX5 HD scope. Just send them the cartridge, bullet weight, bullet brand and model, ballistic coefficient, muzzle velocity, average elevation, average temperature, sight height, and zero distance for your rifle and load, and they'll manufacture a dial specifically for you to help you make elevation adjustments on the fly while you're at the range and out in the field. I ordered a CDS dial for my 300 Win Mag shooting 165 grain Barnes TTSX bullets with a ballistic coefficient of .442, a muzzle velocity of 3,100 feet per second, a sight height of 1.63 inches, average elevation of 4,400 feet, average temperature of 45 degrees Fahrenheit, and zero to 200 yards. I recently received the new dial from Leupold, so now it's time to install it on my rifle. So let's go ahead and get to work. Now the first thing you need to do is zero your rifle at the appropriate distance marked on your new CDS dial before you install that dial. In this case, I've already zeroed my rifle at 200 yards using the old dial. So once you've got that complete, Next thing you need to do, make sure your rifle is unloaded, then place it in a secure mount like this gun vise. Next, use the Allen wrench that came with the new CDS dial to loosen the set screws on the old elevation dial. Once the screws are loose, remove the old dial. Then set the new CDS dial on the scope and align the zero distance with the white witness mark on the scope. Finally, tighten all three screws on the new CDS dial to secure it in place. To use it, simply push in the zero lock and turn the dial counterclockwise to the appropriate number corresponding to the range of your target. For instance, the 5 means 500 yards. As you can see, when we approach one full revolution, the zero lock recesses further into the dial. At that point, the numbers at the top of the dial, 9, 10, 11, etc., correspond to the range of the target. When you turn the dial back the other direction, the zero stop will prevent you from inadvertently going past your established zero for your rifle. Okay, so now that I got the CDS properly installed, we're going to test it out the range and see how well it works for us. My first target is a steel plate at 225 yards. So to hit it, I'll just simply dial the scope to the appropriate spot between the 2 and the 2.5 and hold dead center. Okay, next is another steel plate at 325 yards, so I'll do the same thing and dial right between the 3 and the 3.5. Okay, next is another steel plate at 425 yards, so dial the scope, hold dead center. Okay, so now that I've hit all those targets, the last target I'm going to shoot is at 550 yards. So to hit it, dial the scope, to 5.5 and hold dead center. If you enjoyed this video, then please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. Just click on the red subscribe button below to make sure you don't miss out on any of my new videos about hunting gear reviews, strategies, and more. For more information on the Leupold VX5 HD scope, click on the link in the description below to read the blog post I wrote about it. Now I'm going to turn it over to you guys. How many of you have used a Leupold VX5 HD scope and what's the furthest target you've been able to hit with it? Let me know by leaving a comment on this video right now. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and good hunting.